serious trans people of Reddit who have undergone transitional surgery. How do you experience orgasms now versus pre-surgery? Thanks for all the replies. I learned a lot today. I wish you all a happy and healthy sex life. Trans person here. I love you. Trans people get a lot of probing questions about their genitals. It's understandable that people are curious. But I hope this thread can help relieve some of the curiosity by giving people the ability to find those answers without harassing trans people. Also, this thread seems to be opening up some bigger conversations past just the sex stuff. I think it's great for CIs people to see trans people just being people. And this thread seems to be educating some people about what it means to be trans in general. So all around great stuff. Honestly, this thread is helping me as a CIs woman who has never been super comfortable biologically or sexually. My spouse, CIs man, and I have hit a rough patch sexually and this is really helping me understand not only my body better but also his. I feel like there are a ton of common misconceptions across the whole sexual spectrum. Fort M guy, 25 years old, who just had phalloplasty July 14th. I've been on T for about 4 years and the ability to orgasm in that time has become incredibly easy. Within the first few months I'd say my libido was easily 2, 3 x as intense. Orgasms are pretty short but intense. Since the first stage of phalloplasty, construction of my P via donation graph of tissue, nerves and ETC from my arm, a tissue graph from my leg for my arm, construction of scrotum and testicular implants, and vaginectomy, I've yet to orgasm. But I'm still healing with some open wounds, so I haven't really tried to go there yet. I will say that my ability to feel sensation down there and get aroused is definitely present, so I don't think it would take much to achieve orgasm now. My next surgery step in about 6mo will hook up my natural urethra to my new one, so I can pee standing up, and then receive erectile device implant cest. 6mo from then. It's been my hardest surgery recovery yet. And I had the added complication of popping a stitch that's still healing. But I'd do it all again in a heartbeat. Because I think even my current result is a 100% improvement from what I had before. Hang in there. FDM. 11 months on T. Pre-surgery here. The way in which I orgasm has changed. It's less so general stimulation and more so like jerking off. It also doesn't necessarily have a full body pulsation anymore. Instead having the most powerful sensation centered in my genitalia and kind of echo effects everywhere else. I rarely use to orgasm using only fingers pretty. If I did it would take literally ages. Now I'm done in about 3-4 minutes depending on how long it's been. Since my last session slash how I'm feeling at the time. Now I'm done in about 3-4 minutes depending on how long it's been. Since my last session slash how I'm feeling at the time. Welcome to the club brody. Yeet up. Maybe this is elsewhere in the comments but. Hormones really do affect the type of orgasm you have, not just the equipment. It's pretty crazy. As a girl they are low slow build. Full body. Intense waves. Starting in the head and radiating throughout the body for a low. Slow burn. They can bleed into one another back to back. As a dude. They are basically 90% in the genitals and very quick build then bam. Done and time to sleep. Sadly I have no refractory period and still multiple, however many times I want. JFC, as a guy, but many lose the ability to multiple on testosterone. The sleep applies to both, but Marizo as a guy. Edit for those asking the sadly is mostly a joke, it is a lot to deal with very high testosterone levels, and no refractory though. Life wise. In sex it's great, when I'm alone. Man do I lose a lot of hours. LOL. Edit 2. For those asking which is preferred. I have to say flat out I cannot answer this question in an unbiased manner. Even having experienced both. Obligatory disclaimer that I don't speak for all trans people. But I think it's quite fair to say that. Because we will always be living through some sort of misery pre-transition. Nothing from that world is better. It is or worse. Dysphoria makes it worse. By so. So far. That said. And I wrote in another comment reply. Having experienced both, if I had to say, F orgasms are more, potentially, mind blowing. But there are pros and cons. As with any duality, I'm speaking with high generalizations here. But F are a more romantic orgasm, 
more work, potentially more reward, and getting to ride that reward out like an ice high, MR quick and dirty, but that one moment is a powerful rocket ship blast the sheer force, of which F don't normally achieve, then we get PNC, post nut clarity, I don't know, if there's ever gonna be a mythical unbiased observer to this question of what's better, we come close though, having had both, because I highly prefer anything that doesn't induce dysphoria, as well as, preferring anything that produces gender euphoria, yay, I prefer rem, damn, I wish I had those low slow girl orgasms pre t it hasn't changed for me, always been dickcentric, the only thing, that changed was the frequency, always decentric for me too, the way I get myself off is the same, the way my body replies is different, and yeah, female orgasms probably have the one up in this game, I can't say I like them better cause, it now dysphoria and all, I don't, but all things considered equally, yeah they are probably something missed out on for those, that won't ever get to have them, lol. This was super interesting to read it never even occurred to me that post transition would change your orgasm, but it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. I've always wondered what a female orgasm was like. Honestly I don't think I'd get at all how much hormones have to do with the experience of orgasm without experiencing both. Prior to hormones, I often wondered about some of the sexual differences between gender you hear about too. Including this idea of the mystical building female orgasm vs wham bam explode done. And men just fall asleep after sex can't help it. Here to report there is indeed truth to these notions. Though of course everybody is different. Pun. Ha. The human body is wild. Hey I can answer this. I'm a trans woman. 5 years HRT. 3 years post opus. Masturbating is a different more sensual thing now before it was just a sorta of routine. It is a bit harder to orgasm now than before but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people find their orgasm, after being on HRT, or being post-op are a more full body thing. I don't know if I really relate to that, but find they're quite a bit more pleasant and feel satisfying. I only used my dear few times with 6, and didn't really like it. Don't really like getting penetrated either haha, <laughs> but love being eaten out. Happy to answer random questions people have. To preface, I don't mean to be gross or make you or anyone else uncomfortable so, if either of those occurs, please feel free to glance over my questions. I'm only asking out of genuine curiosity. So, if you've had operations to complete your transition, from male to female, if I understood correctly, what is the process like going from a pee to a vagina? Are there options for you? Seeing as it's an elective surgery, are you able to pick how you want things arranged or anything like that? And in regards to sex or masturbation, is it similar to women in function slash strategy? Like, are you able to become naturally lubricated? IDK how else to ask this? I apologize if it's gross. Regardless, I'm glad you're able to find pleasure and are comfortable sharing these things. These questions are all good. Always happy to enlighten people. Yeah as an elective surgery you can shop around different surgeons and customize how you want things. Pretty much the same strategy as CI's women. I can get naturally wet. Not as much as CI's women. And if playing around in their lubricant is recommended. What's it made of? Where's it come from? That is a really good question that honestly I don't actually know the answer to. FTM here. Much easier and more intense. I had metoidioplasty, that's where they make a D out of your C basically, a few months ago, and I was stunned at the difference. Might have to do with the fact, that I feel more at ease now with my body. Might also have to do with the fact, that I can get blowjobs now. Edit, thanks for the gold, and for all your questions. I love how you guys want to learn more, and I'm happy to help. Except for those who are leaving transphobic comments here, and on my other posts. I hope you stub your toe daily. Oh now I get curious. If you don't mind me asking. What happens when you come? There is no sperm right. Can you get hard? Were you able to choose your pea size yourself? Sorry I'm not so well informed on this subject, but I would love to educate myself. Don't apologize. I'm here to answer questions so don't worry. Yeah there's no sperm. But I can get hard. I couldn't pick my size, since they have to work with the existing tissue but my surgeon is awesome and it's bigger than I expected. Oh thank you so much. 
I honestly don't understand how it can be that it can get hard haha. <laughs> is it the same way that a sea swells or is it hard like a pee hard? Do you have any videos or vlog or anything you recommend on this subject? HMM I think in between. It does stand up like a D and it gets fairly hard and bigger too. There's some videos I watched on YouTube but mostly just surgery videos lol since I love medical stuff. Leo Matthias and Jamidija have good videos in general. But the procedures they had done are different from mine. I think Leo had a graft taken from his mouth. Nightmare fuel.